All right, hello. Welcome to uh, a game of Would You Rather. A lot of people have requested this game. I don't, and I guess it's not really a game. It's more so like a, a web-based game. I don't really know. Uh, basically, you choose one thing over the other in a choice of outrageous uh, Would You Rather scenarios. So I guess this is, I guess, kind of used to to test my uh, my logic, which I don't really <laughs> have much of. Obviously with the first question here, would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? That's a no brainer. Even though in the description here, it says the rest of the population is gone, the world is not destroyed, but you have no hope of reviving the human race. So it's just you and the wildlife. To me, that I, I would obviously pick uh, be the last human left on Earth, which a majority agree. All right, but that's that's so close, though. That's so close. Like, why is that so close? Like, I don't. <laughs> Forty-five percent of people just want to be dead. Like, why would you just want to be dead? Why? I at least want to roam the, 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 the leftover Earth with, uh, you know, even if the population is gone, that doesn't count, you know, animals or anything like that. So you could literally pull an I Am Legend and have like a companion dog and it'll be just like Fallout. You're good. Who wouldn't want to fucking do that? Would you rather be an elephant or be a mouse? And it says squeak, squeak, or I don't know what noise elephants make. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd obviously be like, hold on, how do I do this? I can't, oh, fuck, I can't do it. Some people can do it like with their mouth, like you just kind of like put your mouth together and people can do it. It's like, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That, that kind of hurt doing that though. <laughs> because I made the sound, I'm going to say I'd rather be an elephant. Oh, overwhelmingly fucking positive with the elephant. Everybody loves elephants. What do the comments say? <laughs> this is irrelevant. That's a good comment. Minus the whole disease ridden aspect, I'd just be cute and fuzzy and carry large amounts of cheese in my cheek pouches. Cheese actually kills mice, they can't digest it. <laughs> and the last one, mice can't fart. What the fuck is that? Where do people come up with the logic as to what they pick? Those are amazing comments though. <laughs> Would you rather be a superhero and hated by everyone or have no arms or legs but be loved by all? <sighs> It says, you don't get to become a super villain in retaliation. That's just stupid. You, you have to be a superhero and be hated by everyone. I guess it's kind of like, you know, Superman in the upcoming flick. You know, the, the Superman versus uh, the Legion of Doom versus the Batman versus the, the, the woman with the wonders versus the uh, Ninja Turtle. You know, it's kind of like that because Superman is hated by everybody in that, I guess. <laughs> I think it would be a, eh, I don't know. I feel like uh, the superhero aspect would be fine because like, even if you're hated by everyone, like, you know, what does it matter? I guess like you're a fucking superhero, like uh, it, whatever. Like you could do shit that, if, if you're the only superhero, then you could do things that like nobody in the world can do. But uh, if you're fucking, you know, if you're hated, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go with, with blue. Jesus Christ. Everybody fucking chose that one. I don't even need to fucking get any kind of backup proof on that. Would you rather stick your cut up hand into a bowl of vinegar? Oh fuck, that would, Sting or eat three worms alive. I'm gonna say it depends on how how cut up my hand would be, I guess, in the bowl of vinegar. 
and how long you would have to fucking leave it in the bowl of vinegar. But I just, I couldn't probably take the texture of worms in my mouth. I just don't, I, I, I know worms aren't, they're, they're probably one of the not so bad things you could probably eat, but like, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just do that, I guess. Oh, fuck, I just, well, you know, I, I guess people would rather fucking eat worms, whatever. Would you rather Lee, uh, live with Steve Harvey and co-host the family feud with him? Oh, shit! I'll tell you what, before even reading the, the next question, that seems pretty fucking awesome. Or live with Jeff Foxworthy and co-host Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader with him? Oh, definitely Steve Harvey. That is a no-brainer for me, Steve Harvey. Yes! Everybody loves Steve Harvey. You gotta fucking... Man, you fucking... I would, I would, I would fucking love to, to, to co-host Family Feud just so that way I could kind of like do the voice of the, the, the... One of the earlier guys that hosted it. I don't, I don't remember his name, but he's like, you know... Get on to the feud! Get on to the feud! Come on down! And all that shit. Like he, had a, he had a really distinct voice. And that is exactly why I would host Family Feud. But then again, I mean, there's been some crazy fucking shit that has gone down on Family Feud with Steve Harvey uh, hosting it as well. So, that it's good regardless. That's a good choice, I feel like. Would you rather eat bacon for the rest of your life? That's... That's gotta be pretty bad. Or eat potatoes for the rest of your life. Oh, and it says in the description, you can prepare it however you like. Ooh, this is a toughie though, because obviously like the fucking, the internet is gonna fucking pick eat bacon for the rest of your life. And bacon's fucking, you know, yeah. But potatoes can be fucking amazing too. Especially, you got more to, like bacon, there's a couple different bacons you could probably choose from, but then potatoes, you got the fucking, you know, I, I guess sweet potatoes would count. You know, there's the fucking, you know, you could season them different ways. You got french fries, that's technically potatoes. There's so much shit that's technically potatoes. There's a lot of things you could do with potatoes. Like, you could make a fucking battery with potatoes. So, Potatoes, I think potatoes, man, like I don't, this is a tough one here because I feel like, I feel like the internet would pick bacon, but I've had some damn good potatoes in my time and I feel like potatoes would be good. I'm picking potatoes. Fuck you! Would you rather be a genius in a world of unintelligent people, that would get annoying, or be unintelligent in a world of geniuses? I think be unintelligent in a world of geniuses is is fine. <laughs> you you wouldn't really you like you know oh, oh well it says actually as well in the description both cases in both cases no one else would share your intelligence level. So you're literally the only person that uh, that has this. I think being unintelligent in a world of geniuses would probably be the best bet. You'd be too fucking stupid to even bother to think about it or bother to care for that matter. So you'd be having a ball. You'd be fucking having fun, doing what you gotta do, won't matter. Whereas if you're a genius, it's kind of like your responsibility as the genius to try to get everybody to either A, understand you, or B, fucking, you know, get them up to your level. And that would be way too tedious, and I don't have any fucking time for that. So, but, what the fuck? This is an absolutely loaded question, but I still don't understand why it is that it's such a one-sided thing. I don't know, like I I would not want that responsibility on my hands. I, that's just me, I don't know. I don't know. Internet, why you, you just wanna be smart, you know? Everybody just wants to be smart. So that'll wrap up this video of Would You Rather. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, please be sure to leave a like and please be sure to tell me in the comments whether you'd like to see 
uh, some more of this because uh, I could do some more of this. I kind of like this. This is good. This kind of this kind of shows you know the inner workings here. It also shows what the fuck the internet's thinking too. It shows everything all across the board. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like this. It's kind of like a social experiment, except on like a, a little bit of a wider range. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. And with that. Bye. Potatoes are just as essential to a good morning's breakfast just like bacon is. They go hand in hand and you need them both. You need them both.